So today I want to show you how to do the German short row technique and I use this in my sweater patterns to create an extra section of knitting at the back of the sweater so that the neck at the back sits higher than the neck at the front. I particularly like the German short row method because I find it the easiest of the short row methods. So let me show you how to do it. In the pattern you'll see the instructions turn work, slip one, make double stitch. So let's see how that looks in action. Let's turn our work over. Your working yarn must be at the front of your work. Slip a stitch purlwise and then pulling up on your working yarn make your double stitch by taking your yarn over the needle to the back of the work and you must maintain this double stitch as you then position your yarn for your next stitch. In my case this is a purl stitch so I've brought the yarn between my needles so that I can just continue purling. So I'm going to work across my row and meet you on the wrong side when I want to make my next turn. So I've worked my wrong side row until I want to make my next short row turn. So just as before we turn our work over, we bring the working yarn to the front of the work and we slip our first stitch purlwise. Then pull up on our working yarn and take it over the needle to the back of the work to create our double stitch and then we want to just work our next stitch and because it was a knit stitch I wanted to leave my yarn at the back of the work this time. So I've worked my final short row turn here and now I want to work to the end of my row or if you were knitting a sweater you'd go all the way around the round closing our short row gaps as we go and that means we need to work these double stitches to close up the gaps that you can see in the knitting where the short rows occur. So let's see how we do that. So we're on a knit round so we're simply going to knit our first two stitches until we come across this double stitch and then you want to just insert your needle through both strands and knit them together. Let's see that again. So knit two stitches, then when you come to your double stitch, knit both strands together. And that closes up the short row gaps that were created when we made our short row turns. So you just need to treat this double stitch as if really it were a single stitch. There's no need to pick up any wraps or anything like that or move any stitches around on your needle. Simply work your double stitch as a single stitch. And then what you can see hopefully is that we have closed all of our short row gaps. There's no gaps in our work now where we had our short rows. So if you're working a sweater you'll be closing the gaps by knitting a complete round and that will close all of your gaps. But because we worked a flat swatch here I thought I'd just very quickly show you for completeness sake how to close your gaps if you're working on the wrong side of the row. So very very similarly to the knit side you just purl and then insert your needle through both legs of that double stitch and purl them together. So this is our completed swatch and what I hope you can see is that where we've added this little short row section it's allowed our work to be taller in the centre than it is at the sides. And when you do this in a sweater it raises the back of the neck so that it sits higher than the front of your sweater. So I hope you've enjoyed learning how to knit the German short rows with me and happy sweater knitting.